That's hot water, I'm telling you, you're trying to kill us. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's honey man season, you know what I mean? Honey man season? Yeah, cold it's and hot. Cold and hot? Honey man season. I think it's just hot. It's pretty hot in this period. It's pretty hot everywhere. Not outside. Outside, 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 outside it's hot. It's cold at night. And it's because your house sits there and gets hot all day, and then when it finally gets cool outside, so your house gets to sit there and resonate all that heat off, and it just sits there. You got an ultra instinct. That's right, kill open your windows, get some fresh in there. Get fresh in Hot. Yeah. <laughs> Let some fresh air into your house, man. Let it flow. <laughs> you know, get that nice breeze going. You see how my head is clustered? You see how I be stuttering in these videos. I get some fresh air out of the house. I'll just carbon offset. Take a walk, Lauren Trail. Yeah, man. Uh, if you want to join these uh, game videos, let us know about the games you want to see down in the comments. Yes. Hit that like button. Go hot ranchers. Go hot ranchers. Uh, the last point, how you feeling about this game? It's okay. I don't really like the cops there. They're annoying. Yeah, they're getting on my nerves. They're just, they're black dudes. They crashed over. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. These black dudes ain't playing, man. Yeah, they would not die. They don't try about these black dudes. Yeah. Yeah, shit, my. Yeah, shit, my. Yeah, 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 my. Right, 
Yeah, but I almost got the ass kicked. Who lived through the war just to die in Sand Island? Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Yeah, get that. You think like you're qualified for anything else. I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. So, uh, what's the story with Bruce? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks, you believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got it out of hand. That's not with you. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. <laughs> Grabbed him on the phone too. You know, you take a look around. Bah! Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? Truck? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? There's some food in the refrigerator. Some food in the refrigerator. <laughs> you hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. Where's your fridge, buddy? I go in the kitchen, bud.
Yeah, yeah Maribel with Mayo guy. Maribel is disgusting. I'm more of a Mayo guy. Mayo is raw, man. You know what I mean? Hell with. So, so Hell with Mayo. I don't know what to put in it, you know. Go, go to sleep. sleep. So so go to sleep so I can, you know, watch whatever. Yeah. Sleep on the couch. It's not weird. Yeah. Not on the, not, not on the couch. I think, it's, I think we got to do this. I'm sleeping on the couch in the kitchen. Why is a couch in the kitchen? I have no fucking idea. Couch in the kitchen? Yeah. Nigga, come on, bro. Why would I be looking in the kitchen for the couch? Like, come on, let's be real. Let's be real. Why would I be? I'm sleeping in the couch in the kitchen. Why not the couch we walk past in the living room? That makes more fucking sense. You want somebody sleep on the couch in your living room? You want to sleep in the couch in the kitchen? That makes. Why is there a couch in your kitchen? It's some New York, New York type shit. I don't want to go to New York. Thing. Oh no! Some '60s stuff. Half eaten ham sandwich, beers. Answer the phone. Joe's pleasure, pal. Zero speaking. Peter, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried really sick. Mama, I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job. Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Fido. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. He did sound like he was a little repeated. Bye, Mama. Where does clothes go if he just sleep on the couch? Uh, I, I know I just took your clothes off. <laughs> I was like, man, what? Those are my clothes man, off. What? King, <laughs> King Long, wake up. What? The wagon. Hey. She got the wagon. Hey, so, uh, turn that down in there. Good so don't you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops. You don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops. Offer me true. You don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops. You don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops! Oh man, he's shot in the face. 
really paid off the police to do too. That's just like, right, and I was doing the shot again. That's the all about. Right. Like, I'm rolling. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well... You all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment on load. Steve will show you around. Now, scram, my steak's getting cold. Steak's getting cold. Follow me. Follow me. What you need, sir? I'm cold. Load this pile of crates under that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. All these crates? crates? It's, it's like, like when Sean, bro. This fucking this old dude on the like, Hey, you down at Walmart? Where was you up the hill? I'm gonna give you five. I know he's out. I'll give you five dollars. We get halfway up the hill. He, he going, he's going. This dude is like all the way down. He's like, I'm gonna. He's like, let me see if I got five. I say, say, let me see. That means I don't have anything. You wanna know what all these crates are here? Ten dollars. Twenty dollars and then bit more. I think, I think we can just leave. You can leave me at an office. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep that box. Yeah, that's true. I'm just gonna say, wait, whatever. Get a fuck out of here. Oh, shit, you got your face around here again. Don't worry. I mean, a hundred times more working for Bob Rowe Incorporated. Wait, you said Bob Rowe. Joe Barrow. Yeah, so what? 
Shit, nobody who works with Joe would carry grace for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. I'm gonna say, bro, what do you got me doing, bro? I'd have been, I'd have been a dumbass. I'm not like a 12 year old. Come with me, Chris. 10 bucks, I'm gonna go to Barbaro, Joe Barbaro. He's balding. He's balding. His hair's balding. Go like George to stand up. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want a load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now where'd I put his number? He must be bad. Hey, here it is. Come right now. What, you scared to have a whole shotgun, I will blow your head off. I will kill you and your friend. Yeah, right in the head. Yeah, like, you see how quick he put us? Boop, boop! You fat, talking about your stakes cold. You can't reach for me. He might not be home. Dropping a gun. That wouldn't be good. Little evil. Little evil, like a medieval, like the bad guy, like a knife. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. Want to make a little more money? I got just the day. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you keep the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking in the Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Uh, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Yeah, that's us. Alright, about to make some real money, man. We go get us in. You know, I'm gonna shot us in the face, get that real line. Nah, what a real deal. War hero and all. He said war hero. Wait, wait, wait. Who do Collect the feet? Collect the feet. Like I got a problem with that. I got a problem with you. 
Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Man. Oh, oh man. These hard workers. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> no, I'm not Use your fucking money. He's like, I'm not one. Yeah, glad <laughs> you decided to reconsider. Oh, yeah, I got this guy already. <laughs> hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must, must have forgot or something. something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole, I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you? Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try, then, asshole? Yeah, teach him a fucking lesson. Money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Sell all your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito. I almost forgot. Joe called. I know. Why don't you should meet him at Freddy's. Okay. That's where we broke out. Here we go. Hundred dollars? Ended on a hundred dollars? Yeah, you know, we taught the guy a lesson. We get a free shot. No, we will for that. We were teaching yeah. him that there was no lesson to learn from that. Yeah. You get a free shotgun, you get a hundred dollars, we get a job, we can earn more. I want it no more. Yeah. I think everything is good. It's, it's looking bright. We're coming together, you know, I want to be a real made man. Real mafioso. Let's go. Yeah, if you're enjoying these, uh, react, what's your reaction? If you're enjoying the gaming, <laughs> let us know what other games you want to see down in the uh, comments. You got a few games coming, man. A few different games, so uh, we want to look out. But make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.